So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about courgettes. Now courgettes, I have lots of different successions of courgettes. I thought I'd just show you through them. And you know, I, I love them as an early season squash. You know, we've just finished our stored winter squash and almost right on cue, we've got courgettes. They are so quick to come on in spring in the polytunnel. They do pretty well outside but there's just no comparison between the ones growing in the polytunnel and the ones growing outside. And I want to show you that comparison. What I find is that by the time we get to, you know, early June, the ones in the polytunnel, you can just move them outside and they're going to be fine. Um, but sometimes I just leave them in because they just look so majestic. I love them. And you know, the flowers and everything just, they just look amazing. You just have to keep watering them and they just keep on producing. I just can't get any other kind of squash ready at the time that we run out of our winter squash. So, um, you know, they're really important. And of course, there are so many things in the summer squash family. We're growing quite a nice range this year. So here are the polytunnel courgette plants. And I've already taken the first harvest off these, but you can see plenty of new ones coming and they are big plants great plants they're just such nice companions to have in the polytunnel at this time of year and i wanted to show you a comparison between these plants and plants from exactly the same batch that were grown under fleece outside so this is still a nice looking plant good size about half the size probably still starting some nice little cucumbers uh courgettes um just you know not as big and prolific not as nice to look at you know two maybe three weeks behind in terms of growth and here's an example on my neighbor's plot of a courgette that i gave them planted on the same day as the one that I've just shown you, but without any fleece protection. So that is the difference that uh, fleece makes. Pretty impressive. And then here's a plant from a later succession, only a couple of weeks later. Um, and this was under fleece for just a week. And although it's windy and moderately cold outside now, this will be fine. And here's a plant that I just put in yesterday and I put fleece over that because I don't generally spend much time hardening off uh, and so fleece just allows me to uh, get away with planting them without worrying. Uh, one of the things I do love about courgettes of all types is that uh, they do really well in containers. Big containers, giant containers like this one or this kind of uh, old water book that I chopped in half or just sort of you know 35 even you know but better 50 litre uh, black plastic tubs. I am growing Gemma, Ambassador, Yellow Ball and Zephyr. So a nice range of uh, early courgettes there and I will probably have some late courgettes that I do in this deep coal frame. So I'll probably plant them in July after I've harvested these early main crop potatoes. And because it's a nice deep coal frame, I can put the lid on and protect them. And so these are probably the ones that we'll be harvesting in October, September and October. If you want a bit more on growing courgettes, then take a look at my ebook, which is linked in the description below, and scroll down to individual growing guides and courgettes. And there's details on all the different successions that I sow, how to plant, how to sow, how to look after them, you know, all loads more videos and. Uh, yeah, harvesting information, fertilizer, favorite varieties, etc., etc.
Hello, I hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve, this is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel, and we are growing a lot of winter squash as well this year, in addition to the summer squashes. And we also use some varieties that work well as a winter squash, but you can pick them immature and use them as a summer squash. They're good ones to have because if you're kind of overwhelmed by summer squash, then um, yeah, you just leave them <laughs> to, to grow into winter squashes. So um, yeah, it's a good option. See you soon.